All right, welcome back to another episode of Corpse Party. So we're in the infirmary now, and I already saved, but I'm saving again just because. Um, is there anything to do in the infirmary? Vast quantities of medicines and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. There's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves, both its blades covered liberally in blood. I mean, we could take the scissors in case anything tries to kill us. Vast quantities of medicines and tonics are lined up, blah, 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 along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. What did they need all of these for? It, girl, it is the infirmary. <laughs> like, like if they didn't have these in the nurse's office, I'd be kind of concerned. There's an old journal on the desk. At least, it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model fused to the desk's surface. It can't be lifted, and the page can't be turned. Uh, maybe someone in the other reality can turn the page. I did not mean to click that and it jump scared me. Can I lay on the bed? No. What is this? It's an old fashioned space here, but it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. Box of matches is on the ground next to it. Take them? Yes! Acquired box of matches. A box of loose matches found in, near an old fashioned space here. There are still quite a few left. So we don't take the scissors, but we don't take the, the fucking, so, so we take the scissors, wait, my brain stopped. We don't take the scissors, but we take the matches. What are we going to use the matches for? Light the way, I guess, but I, I, I don't know. I just got a text that says my PayPal account has been restricted from fucking bunch of numbers dot PayPal. Um sign into or something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, that's funny. Anyway. <laughs> um. Viscera. Science lab. Ah. Uh, 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 the flies. Can I burn the floor? No. What do I do? Do I need to go back upstairs? The fly noise is so annoying. Go past the viscera, back up the stairs. Or maybe do we light the space here? What do we do? Infirmary. There's the space here. Unfortunately, never light again. Yeah, so it wouldn't be that. There we go. <gasps> Loose board. How I didn't notice the loose board. Is the loose board? Yes. Got more stairs. You love to see it. Oh, a person. A dead person. A pile of haphazardly strewn human bones is heaped upon the floor. Upon closer examination, a student ID name tag can be seen jutting out from one side. Sasha Shinonomi. There's a crumbled piece of paper on the ground that seems to have fallen from the corpse's lifeless hand. God will surely save me. Well, <laughs> hate to break it to you, bud. Oh, we gotta. We don't have to look at the name tags, but I like looking at the name tags. Sasha. Ribcage smashed with a blunt instrument. A lot of blunt instruments today. Um, lavatories. Boys' room to the left, girls' room at the hen en he end of the hall. <laughs> We're in the boys' bathroom. <laughs> okay, I was. There's. Oh. Okay, sorry, shit. Uh... <laughs> what the hell was that? That was either an actual voice or an auditory hallucination. <laughs> and I really don't know which is more likely. Okay, bye. <laughs> is this another clump of unidentifiable meat inside the rusted bucket, completely crawling with maggots? Okay, um... Be the left. Oh, it won't open. Oh, 
open. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if this was a very worthwhile trip. Hey, hey Naomi? Hmm? Do you have any of that ass medicine on you by any chance? You know, the smeary stuff? What? Again? Yep, my butt's been drier in a desert since we got here. Well, I've got some antibacterial cream, if that'll work. Thanks, I'm gonna go butter up my pooper with it real good. Jesus Christ. Okay, bye. Yay! Okay. Do you have any shame at all? Okay, I feel like I should follow her into the bathroom just so she doesn't die. I'm so scared. Seiko? Mm? Wait, it wouldn't open, but then she op- Huh? Huh? Should I keep bothering while she's occupied? I'm- Why- I'm able to open all the other ones, but- I'm so confused. Girl, hurry up. I'll be outside. Um, I don't want to, like, leave her. What is over there? Uh, I go back in the boys' bathroom. Okay, no one yelling at me anymore. That's good. I'm so scared to leave her alone. I feel like I shouldn't leave her alone. Uh, okay. Maybe I have to leave her alone just so we can move on with the game, but I really do not want to. Big brother! <laughs> Was that Yuka? Do not re hit. Do not re re he re 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 uh, Some of the letters have faded away completely, making it difficult to piece together what the sentence is saying. So true. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> I know I shouldn't keep going back for Seiko, but Seiko. Seiko. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. uh, nothing. Just checking the shirt here. Sorry for the wait. Thanks for the cream, Naomi. Put her there. Is that stall open? Hmm? I thought that stall was locked when we were in here before. Was it? I didn't have any trouble getting in. Fine, I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about after all. Also, th this girl really just said put her there after putting cream on her booty hole. I know what you are. <laughs> I actually just heard Yuka's voice out in the hallway. I think it was coming from downstairs. Really? Let's go check it out. Right. Okay. Oof. I just fucking died. Naomi, are you okay? That was a close one. Uh, my leg. Thanks for lending me a hand. No problem, but I'm just glad you didn't fall all the way down. Seems like you sprained your ankle really badly, though. We should find you someplace to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're probably right. Here, lean on my shoulder for the time being. I know what you are. Thanks, I owe you, Seiko. Think nothing of it. If we haven't been successful at finding a way out yet, I doubt we'll have more luck anytime soon. Besides, I don't think my ankle can take much more. Yeah, girl, you need some sort of- Y'all, we're in the infirmary. You should probably, like... <laughs> Not the viscera. Oh god. Thanks, I stepped in it. Ew, you did? Here, I got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off. Uh, I 
These are definitely somebody's guts. And when I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound like I just plopped my shoe into a juicy pile of dog poo. God, that's way too much information. You're gonna make me puke. Sorry. Okay. A note. Was this note here? The fate that awaits you from here on out is a cruel one indeed. If you should get stuck and lose hope, the answer may lie in your past. Relive it and search through areas you've not yet seen. You may simply be missing the one thing you desperately need to continue onward. Reality will often throw such twists at you. Oh, okay. That's cool. Okay, there's no... So there's no... bandages? Okay. Cool. I still don't know what we need these matches for. Um... Do we go back upstairs? Or downstairs? I don't know how stairs work. Uh, huh. Also, man, any loose boards in chat? Like. <laughs> I guess I. Uh, yeah, this was the, the light thingy. And then. We saw that body, and then there's rag noise. Yep, that's the Squid Game room. Uh, did say go to places you did. I don't remember what he said. Is there a backlog? Uh, the answer may lie relive in search areas you've not yet seen. Have I missed a place? Hold on. I'm like so bad at these types of games because I'm I get I wander around so much being like, what the fuck do I do? <laughs> Where do I go? <laughs> If you should die here, you'll experience the pain you felt at the moment of death for all eternity. Damn, that sucks. Heaven's completely cut off. No paradise, no nirvana, just eternal pain. Why did I have to die like that? Unknown key. A key to some unknown lock has that classic key shape suggesting it's rather old. Feel the pain of death. Forever? But best not to think about that. Okay, what do we need? Uh, there's like several. Wait. Okay, that's the like starting thing. That's starting little area, if you will. Oh my god, please. Gotta. Um, there was a locked door at some. Was it this one? Yeah, because it didn't say it was like. Yeah, okay. Door can now be opened. Ugh. Hmm? Naomi, what's wrong? I, I don't know. It's like. My heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Oh, trust me. It'll just be fine. I mean, it's a locked door. You know what that means, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Behind every locked door lies a, lies a hidden treasure just waiting to be claimed. Can't you hear it calling to you? I mean, we haven't been here, and I don't think there's anything else to do. So I think we should probably go in. Bones. Eep. We have seen so many dead bodies. Curl, you've got to get used to it. 
Uh, another dead body. A message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails. Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. I really think we should just leave this room. Something's not right here. Okay, but I don't know. I'm really curious about that newspaper now. Can't we just take one little peek? I don't want to, but I mean, we could. There's a candle here, but it's unlit. Girl, we got matches. <laughs> Inventory. We can't use the... I am so angry. I don't want to look at the newspaper, but I think we have to look at the newspaper. Oh my god, I don't want to look at the newspaper. Heavenly Post. Breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today, as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded... abscond... fuck... Girl, if you write newspapers, you need to not use big words like absconded, because the general public doesn't know what that fucking means. Um, if there's one thing I learned in my journalism classes, is that you gotta use language that people understand. And absconded? Maybe I'm just an idiot, but, you know. The bodies of the abs absconded youths were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18th, 1973, at around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Each of the corpses appeared to have had its tongue sev I assume severed and removed <laughs> eek mutilations far too gross to describe. The page is torn at this point, and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. How awful. I think I heard about this though once before. Not me, but I guess it did happen long before we were born, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Girl. Oh, <laughs> slam. <gasps> eh? Um. Um. Erm. Um, the, the door. The door shut behind us. That's cool. That's cool and fun. Um. How do we get out of the fucking. Oh no. There's a candle here, but it's unlit. Girl, we have matches. I'm so. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. The newspaper locked us in here, didn't it? Fuck. Um, well. Just game over, I guess. I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> oh, this isn't good. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, cool. Um, I don't know what to do here. Do I have to, like, go back in my saves and be like, don't it just leave the fucking room? I swear to Christ. <laughs> Why would they do that to me? Heavenly Post, you will never- Oh, I see. Cool. Um. Nice. Okay. <laughs> um, on that note, uh... We're never leaving this room. We're stuck in here forever. <laughs> Will there be another episode? Who knows? All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.